So while you're building your blog, you may want to do what we call a static page. Now, a static page in most cases is like your about us, about me. Uh, maybe it's a contact page. It's some page on your blog that is not a blog entry. It's a page that is typically static, meaning it's not changing, uh, but it's something that you want to provide your users. Let's take a look and let's understand how pages work compared to a post. Let's take a look in the blog dashboard here real quick. Remember when we did our blog post, everything goes into this post section. These are ones that have a date on them uh, and other features. When we talk about a page though, we locate that a little bit further down. You notice the first one they have here is the About Us page. So About is typically where you talk about yourself, give a little bit of background into why you've created this blog. Let's say that we want to add another page for contact. You know, let's say you want your readers to be able to contact you directly, you want to make sure they know how to do that. Let's take a look at how that's done. We actually just go under Pages here and we, create, we click Add New. You'll notice that the page interface is very similar to a blog. Actually, it's pretty much identical to a blog format. What we do is we just type the, the title of this page, Let's call this Contact Us, and here's where the body of the message is, where you can actually fill in and say, you know, you can contact at my email address there. Uh, it has all the same features like spell check, justification, bullet points if you want to. Really, you can do anything with this page. When we're ready to actually get that out there, we just click on Publish. And once that's ready to go, you'll have a Contact Us page that you can always edit at any time to include more information or to amend. In many cases, a theme will actually address a page differently. You'll notice they put it in the top navigation or maybe they put it down the right of the blog. It's something that's always available there so your readers can have access to it. If you want to learn more about WordPress, please check out any of these videos above.